All right, hello everyone, welcome back to a new playthrough. And that's gonna be Elden Ring, in case you didn't notice. It's uh, been a while since the game released. Let me just click this button. And let the music play. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a while since this game released, and um, yeah, I've been holding off playing it for a while, and decided to, you know, it's about time I play it. Everyone has besides me, and uh, I am going in blind. I'm putting a tremendous effort uh, to not spoil myself. Surprisingly, all this time I've managed to not spoil myself. So I'm truly going in blind, uh, and uh, yeah, I did uh, try a little bit, just to try some settings. Ah oh, man, I forgot to sync test, <laughs> hold on, I mean, uh, I'll do it here. Forget it every time. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, here we go. Nothing is worse than uh, audio that is out of sync, so. Uh, yeah, I haven't uh, played this, uh, haven't watched anything, haven't read anything, no idea. But I have played the so other Souls games, so I know what uh, kind of what is about. Anyways, let's go. What are we doing? What a class. I did read a little bit about them. Uh, the Samurai seems interesting, Bandit seems interesting, and Warrior seems interesting. I don't know of starting each I probably think for first playthrough maybe samurai or warrior is better but a part of me wants to go bandit because uh, I like to struggle I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess there really isn't such a thing as an assassin stereotype, at least not early in the game, so... So what looks fo uh, more fun? The Curved Blade? Or the Katana? Kind of leaning more towards the Warrior, to be honest. I'm sure it really doesn't matter, right? Eh, they're blue. Let's go for it. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, there is no space in my name. Yep. There we go. Young warrior. Uh, let's read a little bit about it. Uh, a knight, uh, oh, heavy armor, we don't care about that. A nomad warrior who fights wielding two blades at once, an, an origin of exceptional technique. Sounds good. Hero, we do not care about this. Bandit, a dangerous bandit with strikes from for weak points, excels at ranged combat with bows. Actually, having a bow is kind of nice, right? But I'm sure we can get one easy enough. Easily enough. Astrologer. Sorcery. Prophet is healing. Samurai, a capable fighter from a from the distant land of reeds, handy with katana and longbow. Prisoner. A prisoner bound in an iron mask, studied in glintstone sorcery, having lived among the elite prior to sentencing. That is an interesting sword, actually. Also interesting distribution of stats. Confessor, a church spy, adept at covert operations. 
equally adept with a sword as they are with their incantations. Interesting. A spy. Sounds interesting. But I don't work for the church. So, uh, warrior or samurai. Uh, stat distribution, what are we looking at here? Samurai is one level above. Vigor, mind, endurance, strength, dexterity. The samurai has... Uh, Almost the same split, just a bit tankier, it seems. So probably a bit more HP and a bit less stamina. Ah, let's stick with the warrior. I'm sure, it doesn't matter too much. Alright, item. A medallion inlaid with crimson amber increases maximum HP. Eh. The gold of grace shining in the eye, what's it called? Lands between runes. The gods of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between, used to gain many runes. No idea what that is. A golden seed washed ashore from the lands between, set to enhance sacred flasks. Alright. But from my knowledge, the flasks have a limit to how much they can be enhanced, right? Or maybe this. I mean, I don't know, I'm just speculating. The ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. Fanged imp ashes. Cracked pot. Three strange cracked pots that somehow mend themselves. A container for certain thrown items. What? Three strange cracked pots that somehow mend themselves. A container for certain thrown items. Okay. It's like a crack pot that he <laughs> crack pot a cracked pot that repairs itself uh, stone sword key two stone keys shaped like swords breaks the seal on imp statues but can only be used once all right keys are nice right five sacred branches charged with big willing power said to originate from the demigod Miquela. Boiled Prawn. Five piece of Boiled Prawn boost physical damage and go negation. Shabiri's Vow. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Attracts enemies' aggression. I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, the key seems interesting, but it can only be used once. So I don't know. Um... Like, what is, what would be the most upside, you know? Like the HP stuff, eh. The golden seed, eh, I don't know. Like, what? what is the most m mystical? What seems meaningless or weird to begin with? Like the branches? Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Seems like something consumable. Key seems interesting. The cracked pot seems interesting. The ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. I'm gonna go with key. Usually there is something behind the locked door, so I'm gonna go with that one. Um, what the hell? Let's just go with this. <laughs> Oops. That one. Alright. really care about this. Gonna be behind armor anyways. Uh, face looks fine. Here. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
It's not an anime game. Get that anime haircut out of here. Uh, we'll just go with whatever. This looks fine. Color. Why not? Oh, no. Uh, okay. That was that. Eyebrows. Something with a bit of killer instinct in it. Sure. Looks fine. Too much time on that facial here. That looks fine. It's actually what uh, what I have. This just a little bit tall. Just a little bit taller, like up here ish is where it grows. It's like right here, and then a little bit here, and then goes like that. That's what my scruff looks like. If you were wondering. Ah, sure. Let's go with that. Eyes. Iris color. These are not my real iris colors, in case you're wondering. But I think, yes, that. <laughs> not a lot of people have iris colors like this. If anyone, actually. Here's uh, cosmetics. This fine tattoo. All right, this is important. This adds character. I do have a scar across. Uh, wait, which eyebrow is this? It's my left eyebrow. It's the middle of the head. That's not right. <laughs> Ah, we go with this. Uh, right, I think that's fine. That looks good. Your body. Our guy does a skip leg day. <laughs> Maybe some. Some leg days. Here we go. Pop him up a little bit. Within realistic. Okay, let's be realistic. Um, yeah. All right. I think that's fine. I can't spend too long. Okay. That looks uh, good. Let's go. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And 
and in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long-lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Um, got some comments, let me just alt tab to check if I'm actually recording first. Seems like it. Alright, so first, um, no cutscene. That is, uh, an interesting choice. Generally speaking, those up opening cutscenes are pretty damn amazing, so... Being handed a PowerPoint presentation is, uh, not very exciting. Um, I was expecting more, not gonna lie. I do like me a good cutscene. Uh, but anyways, nothing I can do about that. So if I understood the story so far correctly. The Elden Ring was shattered by a woman, it seemed like. The queen vanished, all her childrens fought each other, well something happened, some sort of uprising or some sort of war, I mean something something, where this guy was uh, assassinated, like Julius Caesar, and uh, then some war happened between all those uh, queen's childrens, none of them won. They got abandoned, and now we're supposed to go on this journey to become the Elden Ring. And then they mentioned, uh, the narrator mentioned a bunch of, uh, what I'm presuming is dead, dead lords. That we probably have to fight. Tarnished, wizened finger. 
That's what I'm guessing is the story so far. Inventory. With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory. Show large image and explanation. Toggle character data. Lose, lose all runes. Return to last site of lost grace. Lost graces. Visited. Okay, so souls are runes in this game. Is that what that is? Used to write a message. Oh, okay, we don't care about that. Here's our two stone keys. Okay, we have two of them. Interesting. We do not have a ranged weapon. We do have a shield. Okay. Is there any text on this? No? Okay. It's kind of thinking there will be some uh, flavor text to tell me a little bit about their background. I guess not. Alright, so, what are our moves? Basic attack. Do you not see the stamina consumption? Okay. We do have stamina though. That is the right trigger. Can I do some sort of combo? So I cannot combo like uh, a chain in any way. So if I go light, 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 and into the heavies, I'll just start the heavy chain from the beginning. I can't cheat out the finishing attack in any way. At least it doesn't seem so immediately. I did change the keybinds a tiny bit. Let's just see really fast. What was that I did? Strong attack and skill. Alright. Oh shit. Any rolling attacks? Ooh, yes. Oh, what was that? That was some magical stuff. That's my ability. Okay. I'm wasting magic here. And let's see, I can also swap items, which I have to find new keybinds for because it's also the same button for backstep. I'm gonna have to find a new... ...button for that. Before I move... Equipment. With the equipment menu, okay. We can equip up to three armaments. Each to your left and right hands. This actions each armament performs are very based on which hand is wielding it. Fair enough. Now, uh, where is my weight? Equip load, right. So if I remove this... It does actually affect my weight, oops. But I'm still medium, so I'll just keep it for the time being. Alright. Can I switch to two-handed? Status first. With the status menu, you can check your blah blah blah. You know how this works. Memory slots too. Is that spells? Probably. 
way fewer uh, way fewer stats in this game. No? I remember the Dark Souls stat window being way bigger than this. Interesting. Very interesting choice. Two very interesting choices so far. No opening cutscene, no opening cinematic, and a simplified... Uh, Simplified uh, status uh, screen. How do they use this? What is. Uh... Why am I not scrolling to that item? Isn't it right here? No? Huh. So it's just some sort of. different item menu than the one on the down here all right well we'll figure it out is there a button to switch to two-handed sorry for taking so long don't worry I'll make the video extra long while I figure this out. Um, I... What if you remove an item? What if you remove this? That's a punch. Well, maybe the game will tell us. Maybe the game will tell us. Let's move on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to try. Oh, what was this again? Okay. What, wait, what is this? When I hold E... To use the arrows for that. That's not never. Oh, wait, wait! I swapped! Wait, something happened. How did I swap? What did I do here? How did I press? I pressed something. God damn it. So if I, the name of that item up there, I mean the name of the skill up there is, is the special move. So parry is the special move, okay. Damn, I, I had something here. Uh, Alright, well we'll figure that out later, I'll just google how to do it. It's sitting in this room for too long. Kinda isn't important. Nah, we're not gonna spoil. If we die, we die like a man. Chapel of Anticipation. Controls are... Seem... Responsive, but the actions are kind of delayed. I don't know. 
Camera controls. Ooh. Getting that Yggdrasil feeling. Did get a little bit of uh, Norse mythology feeling from that uh, PowerPoint presentation for the intro. As well as a bit of Roman history. Treasure chest ahead. Controlling me. Yeah, that's definitely a bit of troll. Not gonna touch the blood stuff. I'm gonna guess they died because they kited something up here. So the game is running at a stable 60 FPS, and I need to Google if the game can go above that. Could this be an item? <laughs> I think if it was an invisible wall, it would break if I rolled into it, right? My camera is dragging a bit in the direction that I'm walking. I might actually have to increase the sensitivity to prevent this uh, this kind of dragging. Let's try this. Not too much. A little bit better. It's probably gonna be a little bit harsher to watch, but. Feels a bit more free. That is sound. <laughs> I mean, people have died from something. Maybe they just died because they jumped off, right? That makes sense. It's a Souls game, after all. Actually, now I'm kind of looking at it, the sensitivity is a bit high. It would be a headache to watch on YouTube, so let me just go back. I'll find a way to deal with the, the dragging. Just be a bit harsher. Jumping? Alright. <laughs> it's quite a scream. <laughs> oh, I'll just try again. I got bamboozled. Who would have thunk? That thing on our map is our that wall button. It takes a good uh, half a second before it actually happens. Oh, interesting. Retrieve runes. Okay, so runes are in fact souls. So the item that gave us runes would just have given us souls then. It's a good thing I didn't pick that. I thought maybe runes were something else. Camera drags a little bit. It's an odd feeling. That's the queen from the PowerPoint presentation. Hey, look, you can see right here what I mean by dragging. It's kind of pulling, like. See, just yanking back and forth. That's me fighting camera. I'm trying to look to the left, but my game tries to pull the camera to the right, more in the, in line with where my character is facing. 
Our choice. Uh oh, something's happening. Grafted Scion. That is uh, disgusting. What is this? What? Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Very, man, very manly hand of the woman. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. I wonder what that is. Now, I don't know if that was intentional, the blackout, or if that's just a game bugging out. If that's the intentional, that's two times now that the game has skimped out on uh, cinematics. Not good. I'm a big fan of good cinematics. Flask of Crimson Tears. I'm just gonna assume that the ground broke. Although it did feel like something landed. Praise the pickle. <laughs> okay. This is uh, FP, it's like magic and HP, all right. Yeah. Okay, how do we remove that if you wanted to? Told us how to. Bring up the HUD, which is. Uh... Okay, it van okay, vanishes automatically. Seek cave. Right. Is there no sheathing of weapons? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> that's not the. That's not the button. Cave of Knowledge. Jump down the hole ahead and you'll find the Cave of Knowledge. There you can learn more about the game controls and basic actions as well as other tips that may be helpful during. Yes, we should probably do that. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Uh, yes. We will. will not look at any of these death thingies in case of spoilers. Monster ahead. Use item, switch item, alright. Look 
carefully. Very nice looking water though. Well, not very, very nice, but pretty nice. Actually, while we're here, let's uh, check out what is exactly our... My, uh... What are my visual settings here? Motion blur, get that nonsense out of here. Holy bananas. What is this? Motion blur. If I'm gonna vomit, I'll find my own way of doing it. much better and the lighting in this game is pretty damn good resting at a site of grace will restore your HP FP and cleanse any state it will also recover your fast blah 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 monster blah, 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 blah. you can revive all monsters you can find sites of grace blah 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 you can find sites of grace by going where the light converges these explanations are acquired in the form of info items that can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Alright. And look at this light though, it's so warm. Well done. Holy bananas, good light. That's the type of light you want in your living room, you know, at night during winter. It'll warm your heart. I did not recover, did I? Past time, early day. Ah, so there's days, day and night cycles here. Memorize spells. With the memorized spells menu, you can memorize sorcerers and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorcerers, a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorcerers and incantations consume FP. Remember, it does determine the number of sorcerers, blah blah blah. You can increase your okay. obtaining memory stones. All right. Probably not gonna be playing as a spellcaster. So just. With this menu, you, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage, or take stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Great. Okay, these are knowledge items. Flasks. Add flask charges. Ah, use golden CC. Okay. Use sacred tear to increase the amount recovered. Allocate flask charges. Alright. Let's keep it at it as is. gonna pass time anyways um i said i was gonna make a longer video but i think this is a good place to end actually because you know it's a bonfire or whatever what do we call this it is a bonfire but uh, sight of grace so i'm just gonna end the video here and there's a apparently a training dummy of some sorts uh ahead and i'll also google how to switch to two-handed um so yeah thanks for watching I uh, hope you are ex as excited as I am to play this game, um, and uh, have a nice day. Bye!